good afternoon. It's a little bit of, um, kind of early, but I'm just going to be basically reviewing Fit Fine Wine Sauvignon Blanc. A real brief um, thing about Fit Fine Wine is that it's low in sugar and calories and carbs. I have done it before, and before I got on here, I did look and see, and I did do the um, Pinot, which I did again this Saturday, and the Cab. I had done a video on both of those. But I had Chardonnay the last time. This time I have Sauvignon Blanc, which I cook with as well, mainly, because I don't drink a lot of white wine. I really wish there was something for me to cook with these, because I tried to drink some yesterday, but I wasn't feeling it, I guess because I had tequila when I got home from working the wine shop, which we finally opened back up. We set it up on Thursday, and then I helped them set it up a little bit on Saturday. And we were semi-open on Saturday, but Sunday they had a really good time. They did really good in sales, but I wasn't there. That was my only day off of the family, which my husband ended up having a side job, and my daughter had someone stay the night on uh, Saturday night, and so it was rainy, so we really didn't do much uh, yesterday. Today, last night she spent the night with someone, so today I'm cleaning, and I figured I would do this uh, wine review while I had time, because I do want to try to get on here on Thanksgiving a little bit, but that may not even happen, so it might be the day after Thanksgiving, because I did pick up a uh, wine that I want to preview next. I did not sample it. I picked this up when I was sampling those wines at ABC, which mainly I've only been sampling at ABC and Total Wine. I've been, I started back in October. I think I've only had like, um, three, like four promos so far and I have like two more and they're really slow this time of year. And you have to wear the mask and be behind the shield and some places say gloves, but no one really actually goes by that as long as you have sanitizer and you do it each time. It's so hard to deal with those gloves, and I really hate that. So after working all day Saturday on my feet and with a mask, it was annoying. So yesterday was kind of a slow day. So I figured I'd get on here today and hopefully either Thanksgiving a little bit or the day after. And then next Monday we go to Universal because we got tickets given to us, which I wasn't planning on doing at all because you have to wear mask at Universal, and I've been going to Universal since it first opened, so that's going to be weird, but that'll be something good for the girls and I and the family to do. We have a lot of things planned in um, on Christmas break in December. We were going to do a few this time, but my husband's working a little more. I don't work again until next Saturday, so I'm glad about that. And tomorrow, me and my daughter, our daughters, are going to be having a little bit of things that we're going to go do. And I still got some Christmas shopping to do, which usually I'm about basically done at this time, but it's been one of those years. But anyway, that's to catch up with me and my channel and what's been going on. But like I said, I'm going to review this Sauvignon Blanc, which this was also a good seller. The Pinot Noir is the best seller. I really like that the most out of the red wines. Uh, but I haven't really been in the mood for red wines. Because I also am going to be reviewing today, and I just remembered, so stay tuned if you want to find out about this um, tequila that I got there and I drank some that night which this is what I've been mainly trying to drink is tequila because come to find out it's the number one best drink for you and then red wine obviously not with the sugar and salt and all that but stay tuned if you want to see this video later so I'm only gonna be having a little of this and like I said I already have a video where I reviewed both of these the Fit Vine Cabernet and Pinot Noir, and then I had Chardonnay that day. Now, when I just did this on Saturday, I got some Sauvignon Blanc. And a lot of people said they could taste the grapefruit in this. And it's very refreshing. Mmm. It is good. Um, the carbohydrates are 2.7 grams, calories are 114. So it's, it's good, made in Lodi, California, Fit Vine Cellars, low residual sugar, Fit Vine won't hold you back. If you're looking for a wine that champions the way you want to live your life, crushing at work, at the gym, and at home, with the family, drink with us. This was $13.99. The cap is $13.99. The Pinot Noir was $16.99. Like I said, that's their best seller. Very good refreshing taste. Actually, it's strange. I guess we go through those times where we just don't feel like having red wine. Even though 
this needs to be drank soon because it's been open Saturday. So now it's been open three days. And I tried to yesterday, but I just didn't feel like drinking yesterday. And I am having leftover chili tonight, and I'm making some cornbread with it. My husband made the chili. I don't know because I'm kind of really leaning towards going to drinking the tequila, which kind of sucks because I will be going through this faster than I thought. But on, when I make the turkey on Thanksgiving, I'm going to drink my Pinot Noir. So stay tuned for all these previews. Definitely try Fit Fine Wine if you're on a diet, counting your calories, sugar. I'm trying to tone up, and I am watching a little bit because I am, you know, getting older. However, I'm not really, I just like to drink more so other things now, but this is a great white wine, very refreshing, nice to cook with, goes great with uh, white pastas and seafood. I give it a thumbs up. Have a happy Thanksgiving and stay tuned.